This is Twit. What would you say if I could, if I told you, you could get something that is as powerful and flexible as Lightroom, which is ten dollars a month from Adobe, for one time ten dollars? Now, how much would you pay? <laughs> I think, uh, well, if it were me, it would be you paying, so $10. $10. This is Darkroom, not Lightroom, but Darkroom. And this is my app cap for the week. And this is a great photo editor with many, I think, all the same features as Lightroom. In fact, even a few more because uh, they also have some great prepackaged filters. And you can create your own filters, which is fantastic. Um, Darkroom is free to try, and then they have in-app purchases to add features. So you can add the features that you want, or you can just, for $10, buy it all, everything, all of it. I have to say, I'm I'm really impressed. It, it, it automatically ties immediately to Apple's photos, which is nice. Uh, Lightroom, you have to import stuff from the photos. You know, you have to, you know, with Lightroom, the Lightroom workflow is a little bit of a pain on the iPad because... You first put your photos in Apple Photos, and then you have to bring your photos over from Apple Photos to Lightroom. Plus, Lightroom has its own synchronization and stuff. I'd want to just use... So I'm just using iCloud, Apple Photos. It sees them. I didn't have to do any import. If they're raw, it sees that they're raw. See, the little R here tells me that this is a raw image. It even handles live photos. It's smart about Apple's live photos. So let's take, a, uh, let's take an image. Uh, well, actually, the one I was working on was not very good. Um, you can, how about this horse? <laughs> this is, I think, a live photo. It's loading it up. Uh, it's taking a little longer, which tells me there's multiple images in here. And uh, it's it, normally it's pretty snappy. Uh, this is an iPad Pro. I think, oh, I know what it is. These are all multiple exposures. Yeah, these are oh. raw. So if I'm, if I'm moving from, these, it's pretty quick. Yeah. Right. And it has uh, it has lots of nice features. It has all of the settings that I typically use in Lightroom. For instance, I often uh, just bump vibrance a little bit. Um, you can play with shadows, brightness, contrast, highlights. Turn those up a little bit. Let's turn up the saturation a little bit. You can add fade. You can add grain. Vignette it a little bit, which is nice. Sharpness. Those are just that set of sliders. Uh, the, so we so showed filters, sliders. Of course, you can straighten it, and you can straighten it in real time, which is really handy. Crop it as well in uh, real time. You can also do curves. So this is a big deal in Lightroom, the fact that you can do channels. So the red channel where most of the contrast is stored, the green channel, the blue channel, or all, all three at once. I can work directly with various hues here's the histogram so i can see what i'm doing i can change this is for frames so if i'd like to put a frame around it and maybe let's make that a darker frame and like that that's handy this is a really nice little program it's called darkroom and i actually i don't know how i managed to miss this it's been around for a while here's another nice feature i can uh i can do before and after so i can see what changes i've made and actually, I did kind of improve that picture, didn't I? I kind of popped the sky out there, but maybe I want to dim it down a little bit. Um, really a nice a nice little uh, program to take a look at. Free to try uh, and, uh, and use a lot of the basic features. And then if you want to add additional features, and I'm sure there's more as well. And look here, it has some of the filtering features that are built into Apple's photos. So I can say, I only want to see my live photos. I only want to see my portrait photos. Well, look, there's a, a portrait of the lovely Megan Maroney. Mm. And I can I can play with it uh, yeah, you need directly out of photos, which is very nice. You know, it would be great, instead of like a game subscription service, if they had just a general app subscription service. Like a bunch of different That of I apps, could see. Like that $10 apps. If you got together and yeah. it was like you could, you know, they somehow banded together. Well, maybe that's a, what they're really planning. and the, and, and Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Um because I know you can get app bundles for cheaper, um, but it would be great just to have that kind of like, oh, well, I pay a subscription. I can might as well get whatever I want. I agree. I agree. Yeah. It supports the new Heath format, too, by the way, on mm -hmm. iPhone uh, and uh, iPad, which is great. So you can export and import yeah, Heath photos. It understands raw data. There's no extra step to import the raw data. Uh, I think this is a really nice little program. Oh, it shares directly to Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook if I used any of those. Uh, I could do that. 
Dark room. Yeah, ten bucks though. I think for what you get is uh, is not bad. Um, desktop class without the desktop. This is the beginning. I think we're going to start seeing uh, really powerful iPad Pro uh, apps. This is the first one. I'm really uh, I'm really impressed. I uh, I have to say I wanted a way to edit photos directly on the iPad, and I think this is what it's going to be for me. Darkroom.